Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, guys. We're gonna do a pot of chili inside today. Um, well, mostly inside. This chili's gonna be some smoked, what I call my smoked red chili. Uh, and we're gonna smoke some of it outside on our electric uh, Little Chief jerky smoker. We're not cooking it out there, but we're gonna get a little smoke on it and just add some beautiful flavor to this pot of chili we're gonna make. But let me show you what we're gonna do. Okay, I got a little over a pound. This is just some stew meat I picked up locally. And I'm just gonna cut these down into more bite size pieces and I'm gonna line them up here. I have two if I need it. I have a feeling I'll need both of them. These are my smoker trays for the Little Chief. Uh, I'm just gonna line these out. It's got little liner pads on here just so it doesn't fall through the grates. And I don't have to get them too small, but Gonna line these suckers up so we can get them out there on the smoker. All right, guys, get out of here to this little smoker and see if we can get some beautiful cherry wood smoke on here. All right, guys, get these on in here. Okay, this thing's only got one temperature at about 165 degrees. Uh, it's either gonna be on or off. And we're gonna cook at about 165 degrees just so we can get some smoke on here. We'll finish all the other cooking inside. All right, right here, Oop, get back in there. We got a pan, it's about half full of, uh, it's cherry wood chips. And once this is done smoking, smoked up, we're gonna be done with this outdoor part of this. I don't know if you can see that. That is what we call flavor. <laughs> All right, guys, come in here. I've got, this is just uh, just under three pounds of 80-20 ground chuck. I'm gonna start grinding this up, getting our meat brown. All right, and it's been about 45 minutes since I put the Stew meat, I don't know if you can see that. Got a little smokiness to it. It's definitely not cooked, but we're gonna go right on in here with that. Let it cook off with the uh, with the ground beef. Well you can smell that cherry smoke. All right, we're gonna come in and start some seasoning early. Besides our cherry wood smoke, this is some Emerald Lagasse's, the Emerald Essence. I'm just gonna hit this up here while it's cooking. Smells amazing. Guys, I'm calling this good. Let's get the grease drained off this and move on to our next step. Okay, we're gonna get this thing started. I just using a typical starter kit. <laughs> uh, some Brooks uh, Quick Chili Mix. Uh, I've been using this for a long time and love it. Makes things easy. I think my lid's gonna fall off. Once upon a time, I would have stopped right there and just added some water and heated it up. Those days are long gone. I'm gonna add just one can of the Hunt's uh, tomato sauce. All right, and just a can of uh, original Rotel I'm using a no salt added version just because, well, I need to cut back on the salts. Right, everything from this point is just to taste. I just got some chili powder here. I think we got enough, even though I wish I had some extra just in case. 
I don't know how much it was, maybe a couple tablespoons. I'm gonna hit this up with just a little bit more of the Emerald's Essence. Not gonna be a whole lot, I just got some uh, red pepper flakes. I don't know, maybe a teaspoon or so. And this is some bourbon smoked sea salt. I'm just gonna add just a little bit of that. And just a little, and I'm gonna go just a very little this time. Uh, red cayenne, red pepper. Get this all mixed up. Just gonna add some little extra salt. And of course some black pepper. We will adjust this as we go till it's perfect. And finally, this is a spicy V8. I'm using low sodium here, but the spicy V8. Add a little spice to it. Hopefully not too much. I don't want it to be too liquidy. I think it's gonna be plenty. All right guys, I'm gonna bring this up to temp. And we're going to, let's see, I'm gonna bring it up to the low bowl and I'm just gonna turn it down and let it simmer for as long as my family will allow me to let it simmer. simmer. So, hope to get a good, at least a good half hour. <laughs> Let everything in here fall in love and we'll come back and uh, get us a bowl of chili. All right, we got in a good, we got in a good 45 minutes. Everything, everything was already cooked. We're just letting it simmer and fall in love and everything. Guys, let me get my family fed and we'll come back and uh, get us a bowl of this. Cannot wait. Some of this making a mess over here but it's all right cheers to you guys mm. that's hot <laughs> it's not real spicy but it is hot that is some of the better chili that I've made in a while, guys. That, uh, I use cherry wood on beef and I don't usually do that. But with this chili, the cherry wood smoke goes perfect. Uh, I got another chili that I'll use that I'll usually use a baton with the beef. But uh, with this version of red chili, cherry wood smoke's where it's at. Mm. Perfecto, not super spicy, but there's a little bit of something there. Um, really enjoyed this one, guys. Um, I'm gonna finish this, sit down with my family, and eat. I think they're mostly done. But <laughs> guys, thank you as always. Uh, having a blast doing these videos for you, and I'll keep doing it as long as you're watching them. So until next time, guys, God bless ya. Bye. Bye. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube.